Hey, this is Claudia Jordan, and welcome to the BTJ Virtual Awards Red Carpet Pre-Show. The BT Virtual Awards will celebrate all that is sophisticated and cool and entertaining. It's all brought to you inside a high-tech virtual world. But before we get to the show, come hang with me while we hit the virtual red carpet. We'll talk a little fashion with celebrity hairstylist Derek J. And I've got the exclusive behind the scenes look at how a unique production like this all comes together. And yeah, three, two, one. And we're just getting started. We'll be right back with more from the BTJ Virtual Awards Red Carpet Pre-Show. Welcome back to the BTJ Virtual Awards Red Carpet Pre-Show. And what's a red carpet show without a discussion on red carpet and celebrity fashion hits and misses? Here to lend a hand and add his own unique opinion, I'm joined by celebrity stylist Derek Day. Derek, welcome. Thank you You're very much. You're killing it right now. You look fabulous. But thank you. You look fabulous also. I know. So let's talk <laughs> about these celebrities who don't always have it right, and maybe some that do, okay? Okay. Ready? Let's, let's do it. Let's do it. I'm ready. Common. Um, Need we say more? No, nothing. This me. man is intelligent. He's successful. He's got dimples. Yeah. Classy. I love educated rappers that sound like conscious rappers. He's fashion, a fashion dude. He's keeping the colors. You know, it's all one color. He has a tie to kind of break it up a little bit. Everything's very sleek. Everything's very elegant. Everything's like very simple, but classy and tasteful. And then he has a bald head and he's perfectly manicured facial hair. I love it. I mean, you're still just like haven't mentioned the one most obvious thing about him. And what is that? He looks good. You know, he's a he good actually, man. He, he is. And, and, and it's nice to see that. Like, he doesn't have to have the gold in the mouth and just be mm -hmm. ridiculous with it. He's classy, he's sexy, he's interesting, and he's evolved. He's a grown man. Okay. I'm gonna fight for him. You gotta fight Serena first. Oh, never mind. Cutie Pie, 15 year old, adorable. She's she's 15, she's not trying to be too sexy, which I like. I don't like when these young girls come out and they have everything hanging out. She's showing a little bit of belly, not really showing cleavage, it's cute, it's fun. Lime green nails, I wouldn't have chose. But at that age, that's when you're allowed to make mistakes. Those kind of mistakes are cute. Like, not dating R. Kelly, but like, nail polish. Choices, it's fine. I'm happy with taking that. I think she looks cute. She's cute. And, and clean face, not too much makeup, adorable. CeeLo. Before you start talking about CeeLo, I'm from Atlanta. Mm -hmm. CeeLo's from Atlanta. Mm -hmm. Nars Barkley, he reinvented himself. No, he's a great performer. But the shirt, no deal. But speaking of great performances, you know he's gonna rock. Oh, absolutely. The virtual awards, you know that, right? He's in no danger of ever being on the cover of GQ magazine. I'm just saying, I'm not feeling the fabric. I feel like men of fashion don't is to, you know, really pay attention to your body type because it accentuates certain things you might not want to be accentuated. But it's very played down for what he normally does. True, I but, think he played it safe. But that fabric, He exactly, has on a rosary. But that, how can you? I suddenly have a craving for a banana daiquiri. T-Pain, love the music. I do, I, I, I love his music, I appreciate his music, hate the outfit. If I see another circus, I feel I'm gonna lose my mind. <laughs> it's, I mean, I understand he's trying to be different and everything, but I think the bartender gave him too many drinks and that's when he went shopping. You know, maybe we're in T-Pain's world, we're the wrong ones. Maybe we're out of touch. We're out of maybe touch. Maybe he's on to something. Okay. We're not. We can't. T-Pain, keep doing you because whatever you're doing, it's- Don't it's, do it no more, I don't like it. My first him. opinion. David Banner. This is somebody that I'm really impressed with. I met him at the uh, at a fundraiser for Barack Obama, mm -hmm. and I thought he was a politician or a lawyer. I had no idea he was a rapper. And it's nice to see someone outside the usual attire of a rapper. Nice very spot. polished. Very polished. He would mean he was actually looking sexy, you know. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Are you, are you serious? No way. I mean, heels. You think you know somebody? I, it's Let's okay. Go to the next one. The next one, please. Princess from Crime Bio. They had Nuck If You Buck. 
Oh, no, if, if you bug, bug yeah, oh, and there, no, yeah, no, if, if you bug, bug, um, still little pumps in the club. Sounds fun. Yeah, yeah, it's some other other songs now. Cute body, <laughs> the dress I guess works for her. You said she's in a rap room. She's still doing feminine. She's still. I I give her kudos. The purple like. streets. You like the purple streets? I streams? like. I mean, still a little Greenbrier Mall if you're from Atlanta. What does that mean? Hood. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. but I like it though. So we give her thumbs up. Thumbs up. This is Sean the Pink Ear, no, writer turned artist. Now, the first shot, a tight, I never seen a guy with a white tee that's tight. It looked a little like stuffy, like Plus, maybe he's trying to wear a medium and he's an extra large. Note to self, do not wash well, in super hot water. Well, it's strong. It's strong. And the suit, I, I noticed this is a theme with him. He has a suit that is tight as well. <laughs> Well, that's I, I missed the tight suit. Did you see that 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 landing strip on the top of his head? Did you see that? It reminds me of a Brazilian wax, but not tight. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, he missed I'm, the piece. He missed the <laughs> and if you're gonna go for a mohawk, you go for it. You don't kind of go, kind of, you know. You but go for it. That's sick of his third time out. Much, Loosen up the clothes. Much better here. Lost the mohawk. Cleaned it up. Cleaned Fellas, it up. Cleaned it up. He looks I, good there, he okay? He looks good there. So nice he smile. started off horrible, and then he got a lot better. Got a lot better. Okay, so Sean Garrett, we like how you transformed to a well-dressed well. man. <laughs> 50 Cent. Fitting. Fitting. Come, he's come a long way. He used to we, you know, be in the baseball caps and the white beaters, and that's pretty much it. And now he stepped it up. He's in a suit. I don't really know about the pink shirt. I mean, do you think that's a don't or a do? I mean, I, I don't personally know about this whole separates all together because he has on the pink shirt underneath. He has on the vest that matches the jacket, but a different pant. So it's kind of like he has three different suits on. Standing next to him, the hip hop mogul himself. Russell Simmons. Russell Simmons. Who's a trend, I mean, he's at the head of the game as far as hip hop is concerned. Yeah. I mean, but Russell's like a, a, a hip hop great. Like, you can't even say anything. He could do whatever he wants. He could do whatever he wants. He like, has more money than everybody, who cares? So that means you can just throw on whatever? I mean, that's what I feel. Okay, well, Derek and I are just getting started, so don't go anywhere. The BTJ Virtual Awards Red Carpet Show will be right back. You're back on the BTJ Virtual Awards Red Carpet Pre Show with yours truly, Claudia Jordan. Let's go behind the scenes of our studio shoot with me and Chris. You'll see how the green screen elements are created as our hosts and presenters add their personal touches to the show. <laughs> here we are outside of where all the magic happens. It's very high tech in here. As you can tell from the very expensive sign we've got here, hair and makeup. This is where the magic happens. Let's go see who's inside, getting all done up to look glamorous. Let's go check it out, come on. Chris, yeah. so are you ready to go in town? You like my outfit? I, just, I mean, it's just not really what I expect from you. It's a little, I don't know, just my opinion. I know you, you're my homie, I never seen you dressed like this, but it's good to changing. I'm gonna let you do your thing. Okay. And um, maybe something a little more. Masculine. Testosterone. Maybe like something like Face. that, what you got on? Yeah, yeah, all right, see you later. So what are you doing out here? I haven't seen you in a long time since we created Video Magic. I was trying to find you. I was trying to find you. I got a new video coming up, so I was looking for you. My rate's a little bit higher. Oh, no, it's like that now. Yeah. I got to pay my rate. I was one of the first videos you did, remember, right? No, you wasn't. I just told you that. You know, girls always, we always downplay our numbers. AJ, you know what I'm talking about. Introduce you to this video. It's all good. And this is the thing she get. Deal or no deal? Is she getting the video? <laughs> well, that's all they always do is always go back to the little deal briefcase no jokes, deal. a little deal, no deal jokes. Ha ha ha. When I met you, you were an angel at the Madrion at the uh, was the sunset. Was that the sunset room? What happened that night? You were trying to get with one of my girls. I did get one of your girls. And my ex. You know, we had a nice little relationship. We had a great relationship. Yeah. It seems like they have met through my friends. So your friends, uh, I wouldn't say, but they're pretty popular. How about you? Yeah, they're pretty, pretty girls. Can you stop this tape, please? Why are we gonna stop this tape? friends don't make me cool, right? What are y'all working on right now? We're opening a Cuban restaurant in New York called La Otra. Get nice. away from the Latins, huh? I like Latin. Latin is good. Okay. Very nice for me. What's it called? La Otra. The other. Yes. Okay. You always have fun with the other. <laughs> I'm not gonna touch that. Okay. But I'm gonna eat. 
definitely shot it up. Anthony David, how are you? <laughs> I mean, you hear people around here whisper about you. They say, man, he's hot, he's underground, he's been doing his thing for a long time. Tell me what you got going on. I'm the grinder, man. We just signed to the Soulbird Records underneath the Universal Republic of the RA. So now we're going to let people see the sneak attack. It's the AC Ducey sneak attack, basically. The AC Ducey is the name of my album. <laughs> so now you're going to start getting some checks. You know what? Get bigger checks, that's what we want. Hey, we see, like I got checks. my hip on you. See, now you get the hip when you get the checks. All right. So you're a, you're a nice southern boy, right? You from the south? Where you from? I am. Savannah uh, raised, but uh, Atlanta is where I live. Yeah. <laughs>